I'm at Montgomery Blair High School, the home of Michael Weiner. The first place winner, Michael Weiner. That's Michael Weiner, a senior at Montgomery Blair High School, who has just been named one of three first place winners in the 2015 Intel Science Talent Search. The honor includes a $150,000 award. Michael was recognized for his research on how fundamental quasi-particles of sound called phonons interact with electrons. What I did was I came up with a theory for how phonons, which are the fundamental particles of sound, could be emitted and absorbed by electrons. And I worked out the probabilities and I worked out how that would affect things like the conduction of heat in a material. His work could be potentially applied to more complex atomic structures, such as superconductors. It helps with building what's called a superconductor, which is something that moves electricity perfectly. So how much time did he spend on his research project? It depends how you count it. Like, learning the physics specifically for this project was probably the work of 200 hours. Learning physics in general, which helped me on this project, was the work of thousands of hours. Actually, be you know, insights and calculations, probably only like 50 hours. A lot of things have to come together and go right, and, and he's done a, a great job and we're proud of him. I think that the award is well deserved. His research was fantastic and he put a lot of time and effort into it over the course of two years. My physics teacher has been uh, very helpful, um, you know, especially since he sponsors the physics team, which has been a great place for me to both learn and learn how to teach. He also gives a lot of credit to the magnet education he has received at Montgomery Blair High School. I've learned so much. I've had this amazing peer group of uh, brilliant friends. We have all sorts of clubs for people like me uh, and all sorts of programs to help people like me uh, you know, learn 24-7, you know, 365. I'm so excited for him. I've known his, his family for a long time and I know he'll go on to do great things. Now Michael is preparing to make a decision about where he will spend his next four years. I'm looking at MIT and Caltech. Uh, I want to study physics. I want to study very hard, very theoretical physics. Finally, if there's one thing Michael wants you to know about him, other than his passion for physics, it's that he's also a writer. I have a blog, eyesofleshandflame.blogspot.com. He works on his blog every Saturday, and the story is about a sorcerer named Dragon Eyes. He gains the abilities of dra dragons to see the true nature of things. And, uh, you know, in many fantasy settings, knowing the true nature of something gives you power over it. So this is actually sort of an allegory for science, where knowing more about something gives you power over it. For MyMC Media, I'm Sonia Burke.